over the past few days, I've been trying to make sense of the MIDI environment and signal routing in Logic Pro X. And so far, I've uh, got it kind of working. This is not so much a tutorial as a um, here's where we are today type of thing. In the Notion project, I've got uh, several external MIDI staves. Uh, if you look in Notion Preferences, on the MIDI tab, uh, I've got port A added to uh, a virtual MIDI driver, uh, IEC driver, IEC bus 1, and I've got uh, port B added to IEC bus 2, IEC driver. And so what that means is that the notes on these two are being sent fr uh, from MIDI port B over to Logic Pro, and the notes from these external MIDI staves are being sent over MIDI port A. This is working reasonably well except that uh, there's some overlap and I haven't exactly figured that out but uh, I'm making progress and so that's good. Now if we switch over to Logic Pro X uh, and we look at the MIDI environment what we see is that there are several objects down here. This is a physical input object We've got two channel splitters, uh, an input note viewer, uh, an input viewer, and the sequencer input. And the way it works is that uh, this physical input is just a summary of all the MIDI inputs. And so uh, what it has is it shows the IEC bus 1, uh, an IK Multimedia Stealth pedal, IAC bus 2, sync port, and MIDI port for the Motu 828 Mark II hybrid. And there's a additional one which is the first, and that's the sum of all the MIDI that's coming in. And then I've got two channel splitters. Uh, this first channel splitter is going from the second little tiny triangle here, uh, which uh, you can see at least somewhat better with uh, uh, a, a magnifier and it's this one right here and this second channel splitter is coming from the fourth little triangle and so that's one is sum, two is IEC bus one, three is the stealth pedal and four is IEC bus two so four is going over here to a channel splitter and so off of this one it also has a sum so we don't use that but I've got the first one which maps to channel one and the second one which maps to channel two I've got those routed to two of the instruments and um, uh, on the first one uh, it's routed off of the second little triangle here and that means that it's getting the information from IAC bus one and so starting with the second little tiny triangle which is channel one from IEC bus one I've got that routed to several instruments up here um, this input notes and the input viewer and the sequence input um, the sequence input is what actually goes into Logic Pro this is what makes everything available to Logic Pro it's kind of separate from this stuff uh, these are just kind of so you can see what's going on, and but you can click it and it'll play notes. And then over here in this input viewer, you actually see the MIDI messages, MIDI notes, MIDI events. And so that's pretty pretty much that part. Uh, the overlap, um, you can see that once they start playing. Uh, no, it's fine when it's MIDI port A, channel 1, and channel 2. You, you just get these two instruments. But then when it goes over here, and it's MIDI port B, channel 1 and 2, you hear more instruments than just these two instruments, and I, I'm still working on that, but I'll figure it out sooner or later. And uh, basically, that's how it works, and here's how it sounds.
Yeah, and so that's uh, that's how that's working. Uh, I don't understand the overlap part of it, but I'll get that figured out pretty soon. And then uh, once it all makes sense, I'll uh, do another video. Thanks.